Yeah, what's going on YouTube? Llama here and we're uh, about three or four days away from MLB The Show 23. So I wanted to go over how captains are going to work in Diamond Dynasty. So as you can see here, uh, we got this Miguel Cabrera one. You can see at the very bottom the tier boost and everything. So um, captains are a new series, uh, card series with unique abilities. And as you can see, Cabrera's first tier one ability. So at the very bottom left, um, now it does say you have to have five hitters from the Detroit Tigers on your squad to get these boosts. But... Um, as long as you have five of them in your lineup, they're all going to get plus five contact versus lefties, plus five batting clutch, and then negative five field ability. That's tier one. Now, tier two, as you can see, you would need eight total hitters, which is actually a lot. Um, I was thinking it was players before it's hitters, so it's so a lot of hitters uh, from the Tigers, at least to use this Miguel Cabrera one. But you would get plus five um, power versus righties, plus ten contact versus lefties, plus ten batting clutch. And then to even it out a little bit, they drop the fielding ability. And then if you have all 11, uh, plus 10 power versus righties, plus 10, or I'm sorry, plus uh, 15 contact versus lefties, and plus 15 batting clutch. So how they release these cards are going to be um, very unique to how you use your team. I saw they had some of the Negro League players too. Um, I think it was like Willie Mays gets a boost for that. Also, side note, like... I don't know, it just seems insanely racist to call it the Negro Leagues for whatever I get. That's what it was called, but just like, I don't know, it's kind of weird and awkward, but I'll call it what it is. So, um, sound like a guy from Alabama or something here. So, um, yeah, just side note, it's kind of weird that they call it that. But, um, Willie Mays is one, so like if you use a lot of uh, the flashback retro players from like the 50s and 60s, which I think the Negro Leagues was, um, that's what his boosts and stuff were. But this is really cool that they're doing it this way. Um, it kind of opens the game up more just so you want to use different players and use a different lineup. Like I said, if you uh, are a Tigers fan, like you're probably happy that Cabrera is one of the captains. And if you use a lot of Tigers players, a lot of people do theme teams and stuff too. So it's going to give that team just an overall better boost. So I'm kind of uh, excited to see how this works out. I think it'll be pretty good. And it's going to be pretty good for strategizing too. So we don't have the full list of players that are team captains yet, but i um, once the game's actually out and stuff, I'll make a lot of detailed videos breaking all this down. So like I said, you can see the different tier boost, five hitters, eight hitters, and 11 hitters from the lineup. So really cool. Um, I think that Willie Mays one's going to be good just because, like I said, they're going to have a lot of uh, Negro League flashback players. Um, and then another thing they're going to do too here, let's scroll up, is 99 overall day one cards, which is kind of cool that they're doing this. Now they did say that they were going to put some World Baseball Classic players in here. Uh... Trey Turner has been a freaking beast so far, so I would like, I don't want to say it's going to be game breaking if he gets a 99 overall game, or uh, day one, but that dude's always a freaking monster, so definitely cool to have a nice usable Trey Turner card for the first few months of the game, but yeah, that's how the team captains are going to work and everything, guys, um, like I said, I think it is um, a pretty cool addition to do it, now they do have this uh, sets and seasons where certain players, um, like you can only use certain players uh what's the best way to say this like say live series for the al east players comes out in set one and then that goes away you can't use those players anymore in set two they're gonna re re be uh replaced by a new set of live series players um you will have a wild card in quotes where you can go back and use your favorite one from the first one but overall live series players is how i understand it um are going to be coming in seasons and they're going to expire season to season so you'll lose access to almost all of them but the one or two you want to jump back and save with the wild card thing this one is kind of fucking i'm not gonna lie i'm confusing myself trying to explain this shit so we'll see how this one works out when the game comes out but um this one may be a little bit weird for so f so far for me at least but the uh team captain thing in the 99 overall day ones look pretty freaking sweet for me um San Diego Studios is always really good at giving us, um, like, good cards out of rewards. Like, I know Madden Ultimate Team, one of the reasons I stopped playing it was because it was so fucking stupid. You would hit level 50 in the game, and it would let you unlock a Legends pack. So you're like, oh, cool, I grind it, I get this pack, right? Like, you, when you play Conquest in the show, it's like, oh, I like, get my rewards. Madden's like, nah, bitch. You, uh, you grinded this, now you get to drop 20 doll hairs on the option to buy a pack for a non-sellable card. And, um... What card do you want? Because we're going to make sure it is a random pack. You don't actually get to choose which player you want. So, super fucked how EA does it. But like I said, 99 day ones. 
As long as they do it right, I don't think it'll be game breaking, and the show actually gives you rewards. You don't have to spend money on stubs. I most likely will spend money on stubs, so like I said, once this game comes out, watch me be very irresponsible with money. I will be, uh, kind of funny, I was making fun of the Jews in my last video. I'll be the very opposite of a Jew, just dropping money on dumb fake virtual cards when this game comes out. But thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, uh, once the game's actually out, I'll break down all the, um... Negro League and all the other racist stuff they want to put in here, but transgender women's league in here too, because like, why the fuck not? Um, that's actually what my Road to the Show character is going to be. It's going to be a transgender woman who just comes up and dominates the big league, so uh, thanks for watching, guys. More videos to come if I don't get cancelled. I'm not going to get cancelled. Three people watch these, so alright. Peace, guys.